And the numbers are staggering. Nearly 400 people shot just in the month of May alone. More than 1,500 victims this year. Well, today, people across the nation are being urged to wear orange to party for peace. You see here the Empire State Building was lit up orange overnight. Joining us now is Nate and Cleo Pendleton, whose daughter, Hydea, was senselessly killed standing with friends in a Kenwood Park. And you guys are really pushing to, to end gun violence. It's really something that has been a big issue here in our city and really across the country. I really want to thank you guys for taking the time to join us. Tell me a little bit about why Orange and why you guys are so passionate about this movement. Well, the, the um, idea of Orange came from Hydea's friends. Um, they wanted to, you know, figure out what to do um, because, you know, they lost her and she was probably one of the last people you would suspect would be victims of gun violence. Um, and, you know, they chose the color orange because it's the color that hunters wear. And um, it's, you know, a signal for don't shoot me. So, you know, it's something small that everyone can do as, you know, as in, in reference to the issue that we're currently facing for gun violence. So if, you know, you have someone that you've lost, which is not rare, unfortunately, these days, um, in support of, you know, maybe stiffer um, um, laws or um, just, you know, kind of raising up the families that have you know, lost their loved ones. You know, wearing the color orange is something very simple that can be done. Yeah, and, and really a community effort that needs to be done, obviously, to stop such a big issue. This is something that's spread to other communities as well. You know, we had Superintendent, Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson on the show yesterday, and he said this is not just a policing problem, it's a no, community problem. It is. Talk to me about why that is so important. Well, I, a lot of this comes from the home. Um, and most of the time, if you can, if people took more time to get to know their kids and know what's going on in their homes, a lot of this, a lot of the crime probably wouldn't happen. Yeah, it's um, really just unfortunate. And I thank you guys for the strength to come out here and do this. This is something that is very necessary. Uh, so thank you for taking the time to come in this morning. We do want to remind everyone that the party for peace uh, is taking place at the Harold Washington play lot at 5200 South Hyde Park Boulevard, and it'll be from four until eight tonight. Marissa.